chapter 2, lesson 2, is dividing by a proper fraction. Okay, so recall that in the last lesson, when we did multiplication with a whole number, the whole number was over 1. And recall from the last lesson that there were two methods. So here you will see that you'll only see the second method. So that's why it's better to just be consistent with a second method. Okay, so which means the division will be replaced with a multiplication followed by taking the reciprocal of the fraction. Okay, so in this lesson, uh, the book starts introducing bar models. However, the bar model representations for this lesson might end up confusing you and the kids. So, uh, my suggestion is let's just wait until the word problems to master the bar models for dividing fractions. Okay, so which means our lesson or our exercises will come from pages 42, 46, and 48. Okay. Okay, so from the problems that we have, it says find the following values. So again, if it doesn't say to write in simplest form, since these are fractions, we have to remember to really put them in simplest form. Okay, so which means the first in on page 42, number 2A, I selected letters B and D. So here, remember, since we have fractions, we'll make everything a fraction. So if you see a 6, which is a whole number, just write it as 6 over 1. So since we know that we can't divide, we will change to a multiplication and then 7 over 2. Okay, so recalling from last year, we should remember that anything on the numerator should cancel with anything on the denominator. So in this case, the 6 and the 2 will cancel. This will be 3. That will be 1, which gives us 21. Okay. Similarly, if we do the same thing here, this is 10 over 1. Since we can't divide, we change the multiplication, then take the reciprocal. So again, since I see 10 and 2, those cancels as 5 and 1, which makes it 45. Okay, now going to page 46, it's now a fraction divided by a fraction. So when we have a fraction divided by a fraction, it's just the same as the previous problems that we did. So this is 2 thirds, can't divide, times 9 over 1. So I look for what can cancel. And clearly, the 3 will go into both of these. That will be 1. That will be 3. The answer should be 6. In letter C, we do the same. So this is 5, 6 times 3 over 1. So clearly, we can see that the 3 and the 6 will cancel. That will be a 1. That will be a 2 which means our answer should be 5 over 2. Now, it doesn't say in the process or in the instruction if you're supposed to leave it as a fraction, an improper fraction, or as a mixed number. So usually I tell students that if it starts as a mixed number, your final answer should be mixed. But if it starts as a fraction, your final answer should be a fraction. This is a fraction that's a fraction. But if you're uncertain, then it's best always to just put both. So which means 5 halves is the same as 2 and a half. Okay, so which means if we go to page 48 to C, doing the same process, this will be 3 eighth times 6 over 5. So we cancel 3 and 4, which gives us... 9 over 20. Okay, and finally, if we look at 5 sixths cannot divide times 
8 over 7, cancel, that will be 4, and that will be 3. If we multiply across, that will be 20 over 21. So again, fractions cannot be divided. They can only be multiplied. So when you see a division of fractions, you have to change to a multiplication problem and then change the fraction that's after the multiplication change into its reciprocal, meaning flip it. That concludes lesson two of chapter two. I'll see you in the next lesson.